group from Western New York and Northern Pennsylvania took the trip of a lifetime. 37 veterans took part in an honor flight to our nation's capital. And our Pete Gallivan traveled with them and shares the story of a World War II Army airman who had two things to celebrate. For Eddie Nardowitz, this was no ordinary birthday, and the extraordinary celebration actually began hours earlier. Honor Guard, 10 Hook. That's him leading the way into the Buffalo Niagara Airport, one of 37 veterans about to take the trip of a lifetime as part of an honor flight to our nation's capital. I've never been in anything like this before. This from a man who's been a lot of places. Morocco, Tunisia, Algiers. Just some of the stops along Eddie's tour of duty during World War II. I was originally drafted but I, for one year at that time. But I joined for four years so that I could get into the air. Well, at that time, it was called the Army Air Corps. He was in the weather service, but on this cool, rainy day, the weather didn't matter. They were here for a reason, to remember their service and the sacrifice of those who didn't make it back. From the tomb of the unknown soldier, it was off to the World War II Memorial, where they were greeted by another veteran, a veteran who became one of the most powerful men in Washington, Bob Dole. But to Eddie, it was just another chance to share stories of service and a laugh. I had to walk. I was in the infantry. Well, I was originally in the infantry, but then I tried for four years into the Air Force, so that's how that I That was a smart move. Right. It was. Well, he said he he chose the right uh, wrong thing, and I chose the right thing. <laughs> it was a day of pictures, pats on the back, and even a birthday kiss on the cheek. Wait a second. You've got a little lipstick on your on your cheek, young man. Some beautiful girl just kissed me because I'm 103 years old. I'm really proud to be an American when I see these gentlemen who put their lives on the line for us, and it's just a small way of saying thank you. The costumes meant to bring back some good old memories of a simpler time, and Eddie shared a few photographic memories with me. Well, they, these two were taken in Churchill, Manitoba, and Churchill was a, a port that was frozen uh, seven months out of the year. Yeah, he saw the extremes from the Canadian tundra to the desert of Southern California to the Mediterranean climate of Sardinia. This was a whirlwind day, which brings us back to that happy birthday and an entire restaurant in Baltimore joining in song. Then it was back to Buffalo. Eddie filed in behind the pipe and drum corps to lead this group back into the airport to a very joyous welcome home. Pete Gallivan, Channel 2 News. Mm -mm. Absolutely you, terrific. I, I went on the very first honor flight in Buffalo, Niagara, and you get choked up when you see how these men react to seeing their memorial. And those stories that they tell, fascinating. Uh, when, when Brokaw writes about the greatest generation, there they are. Another. Mm -hmm. Perfect example. Yeah, love bringing you those stories. Peak Elvin does such a great job. And unfortunately, the weather didn't quite play out for them, Kevin. But all yeah. of us on the East Coast are not having the best spring. That guy looked pretty doggone for, for 103. Yeah. I, uh, he was born when Woodrow Wilson was president. <laughs> I mean, you know, that is just absolutely amazing. What a, a very touching story. You don't know what's going on in their head, but you know they deserve all of this and so, so, so much more, and as does their families. Okay, so congratulations. Great story, Pete. We do have a little.